Hello everybody, it's me Heather and today I'm bringing you a first impression of the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. So these do come in two shades, they are $50 each, so they're not cheap. I ordered mine off of Sephora.com, it's currently available to VIB Rouge members and later shortly it'll be available, I think within a week or so, to everybody else who has better control of their makeup shopping impulses. Okay, so first impressions. I did go ahead and swatch these and take some pictures and I'm going to post that on my Instagram slash blog. So if you guys want to check out the swatches, you can check out my Instagram or my blog. But we're going to go ahead and I'll show you guys these. I'll go ahead and do live swatches and I'm also going to put on my face. So that's why I look like really, really like light white today because I have um, most of my makeup on. I have no blush on, no bronzer and no highlighter. So I'll do one side of one shade of the bronzer and the other shade of bronzer I'll do on the other side of my face. So these come st um, housed in just the standard packaging. Nothing new. Um, it's quite a fair amount of product. So the ambient lighting powders are 0 0.35 ounces. This has 0 0.39 ounces. So you got 0 .0, or, yeah, 0 0.04 ounces more or 11 grams of product. And it comes in just like I said, the standard packaging. It comes in two shades, so let me go ahead and open these up for you. And it may look a little weird because I did swatch it recently, but it'll probably clean up a little once I stick a brush in. But you can see it's got the little mirror, and I should flip that upside down so I don't blind you guys. So this one is the lighter of the two. They only have two shades right now. This one is Luminous Bronze Light, and... I have, I honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had a lot of like color perception problems with both of these. For me, it was really hard to tell them apart in the pan. And that's just probably my color perception. I'm not colorblind per se. And here in my viewfinder, it's actually quite clear. You can definitely see a marked difference in my viewfinder. In person, they're extremely similar, very close in shade. Although this one right here, Luminous Bronze Light, is intended for skin tones that are light to medium. And this one definitely does have a little bit more of a gold tone to it, but it's still very bronzy. It still has that not quite orange tone to it, but it does have that very noticeable bronze tone to it, if that makes any sense. This one is the one that is intended for medium to deep skin tones. And this one's called Radiant Bronze Light. And just trying to remember the names of these is killing me. So, Radiant Bronze Light. So, this one's intended for medium to deep skin tones. This one does have also a warm tone to it, as bronzers you should have a warm tone to them, to be honest. You know, if it has a neutral tone to it, it's usually considered a contour powder and not a bronzer. So, this does have that, you know, warm tone to it. And again, this one, just like this one, although on my viewfinder it may not look orangey, this one does have a slight orange cast to it, but again, it doesn't look like it's going to be an unflattering orange. Just enough, you know, of an orange tone to add warmth, not to make you look like you went crazy with the faux tan. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys, and we'll start with this one, this one, and this is how I had to remember these. I had to do some, um, what they call it, mnemonics. So this one is Luminous Bronze Light. So I had to think of luminous as light medium. Luminous, light medium. So that is luminous bronze light. That one's intended for light to medium skin tones. Now originally, to be honest guys, I did not plan on getting both of these. I was going to get one of them. But on the website, I, in all the swatches I'd seen online, honestly, I just could not tell which one would be the better fit for me. I honestly am still not 100% sure which one's going to be the better fit for me. So this one is the medium, sorry guys, this one is the medium, the one for medium deep skin tones. Oh my goodness. So I'm happy that, I'm sorry, I know this is so awkward. It's just I really wanted to put it on the inside of my arm and not, you know, on my hand. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I know I'm so awkward today. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this on the face. But I couldn't tell which one would be the better fit for me, so I decided to just go ahead and get them both because they're pretty... I'm seeing the difference now in person. 
I don't see the difference. It's interesting. It's the way they're reflecting light. Because in person, they look so similar to me even right now. But in my viewfinder, I can definitely see the difference. Okay, enough goofing off. Let's start this. So we're going to start with the lighter of the two. So we got luminous bronze light, the one that's intended for light to medium skin tones. I'm just going to dip my brush in there. There is quite a bit of product kick up, but you know, that's okay. I'm just going to tap that off a little. And I'm just going to apply this really liberally, pretty much all over the place. I'm going to do like half threes on the sides of my face. That way we can see what this looks like. Mmm, smells pretty. I can't, I just now noticed there's a scent. I almost want to say it almost smells like cinnamon. It might be my imagination. That's kind of weird. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay, and I'm going to put this on like crazy lady heavy just so you guys can see it really well. And actually, I'm really liking this so far. I'm also going to bring it just for, you know, just so you guys can see the color. I'm going to bring it down the side of my nose right here. And I'll bring it outward like that so you guys can see the color. Okay, this is weird. This really, I I really feel like this smells like cinnamon. Which is kind of odd. It's not overwhelming, but it's definitely noticeable. It smells like cinnamon to me, which I was not expecting. I was really, I'm really caught off guard by that. Okay, and I'm just putting that there so you guys can see it. And you can see there's a little bit right here, so it's got a little bit of sheen to it. I am actually really liking this. I just want to blend that out a little right there. Okay, so this is the Luminous uh, Bronze Light, the one that's intended for light medium. I'm sorry I'm repeating that so much, but I'm just for honestly got... I struggle so much with the names of Hourglass products. You know, Radiant this, Luminous that, just... Uh, just <laughs> It's really hard for me to put a color concept to those kind of names that are really, to me, really, like, ambiguous. Okay, so I'm taking a different brush, and now we're going to take the one that's intended for medium to deep skin tones. So this one is Radiant Bronze Light, and the way I was able to remember this one, well, I just don't remember it really, but I was like, okay, bronze brown. <laughs> you know, but no, that didn't really work. Okay. So I'm really going to load this up so we can see it. There is quite a bit of product kick up. That's okay. I'm going to tap that off. And this one smells like cinnamon too. <laughs> Actually really pretty. I went in maybe a little too far with this one, but that's okay. I'm doing that so you guys can see the color. And I'm dealing with this humongous zit right now. Nature's taking pity on me because it actually kind of looks like a mole <laughs> instead of a zit. <laughs> wow, that's freakish looking, having two different bronzers on different sides of my face. But that's why I wore powder foundation, so I can just use a face wipe and get all this stuff off. But, um, wow. Okay, so overall first impression is, okay, so this is, <laughs> I turn my face to this side. So the light medium one, the luminous bronze light is on this side of my face. And I really like this. It's actually really easy to blend out. It, in the, you know, in the pan and when you swatch it, it looks like it's going to be really frosty. But on your skin, it just really translates to that really pretty incandescent glow that Hourglass is known for with its powders. So if you're afraid of bronzer, this would definitely be one to try because it's not shimmery and it's not obvious. It's actually really pretty. It's just, oh, I, I really love the way this looks. So I'm definitely liking the luminous light, luminous bronze light on this side. And on this side, I still like this one, but this one is obviously I would need to take a lighter hand <laughs> if I wanted to wear this one. I could still get away with this one. Because if I were to go ahead and pair it with blush and highlighter, or maybe not so much highlighter, but you can see right on my nose, you can see this one has a lot more frost to it. That became, you know, it has a lot more frost to it. it. Really appeared on my nose, like, but on my face, 
um, you know, in the little areas here where I applied it, it has just that nice, again, incandescent glow. It doesn't look frosty or shimmery. There's definitely no glitter. But for some reason on my nose, it really translated as really, really, really frosty. So probably not. This would obviously be better for, I wouldn't, I'm going to say medium, dark, and deeper skin tones as opposed to medium skin tones. I'm going to say medium, dark, and deeper skin tones would want to grab the Radiant Bronze Light. But I still really like this. I can still see myself using this one, so it's not wasted money. I really like it. But I obviously just won't be using it on the side of my nose for any kind of warmth or contour because it's just, for some reason, it translates really frosty on my nose. But on the rest of my face, it's not nearly as frosty. Okay, so that is it. I hope this was helpful for those of you that are having trouble deciding which one's the right one for you, whether it's the light medium one, the luminous bronze light, or whether it is the medium deep one, which is the <sighs> radiant bronze light. So sorry I struggled with these names the entire time. I will struggle with them as long as I live. And like I said, the color perception on these um, honestly, if anything, my only complaint really is that I wish they had made the shades a little more, have more of a stark contrast is what I'm trying to say because um, I'm one of those people and I mention this sometimes on my channel. Um, I don't think I have the best color perception. I'm not colorblind, but I do notice that, for example, if you line up a bunch of shades of red, a lot of times I'll have trouble telling the difference between the shades of red. Usually several or many of them will look similar or the same to me, and I have that problem also with pinks, so reds and pinks. And I'm having that problem with this. So in my viewfinder, I'm able to tell the difference better but in person, they look almost the damn same to me, which is so weird. So I'm really happy. I'm really hoping this translates through the technology that I'm using to transmit to all of you. And you're able to see the color difference and it's able to help you to decide which is better for you. But so like I said, my only complaint is I wish they had made um, just, you know, because they're, they're almost like only one or two shades apart. I wish it would have a better, you know, shade range difference, but the actual formulation itself is quite lovely. It's really pretty. I really like it. I wouldn't recommend using it on the sides of your nose because I'm seeing it now here too. Like for some reason on my nose, it's just like ridiculously frosty and shiny. So if you usually use bronzer to contour, add definition around the nose area, definitely try it before you buy it. But if you just use it on the outer perimeter of your face, it works beautifully. It doesn't, ha it's not frosty, it's not shimmery, it's not glittery. It just gives that beautiful, you know, healthy skin incandescent, you know, beautiful highlighted bronzer glow. Okay, like I said, I hope this was helpful. Let me, get, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. And I think I covered everything in this first impression. You know, just kind of winging it. Sorry it was so awkward with the arm swatch. and Because <laughs> I didn't want to put it on the back of my hand. I just thought it would be better to put on actual softer skin. Because sometimes the back of my hands are too dry for swatches. Okay, that's it. Go ahead and check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr. Check out my blog. You know, I'm going to post the swatches before this video is up. So you'll be able to see the swatches there. Um, any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I love it when you guys interact with me. That's like the most fun part of making videos is reading your comments, responding to your comments. And let me know if any of you are going to pick this up. I'm happy to have both. I'll definitely be using both of them. And because especially, you know, I tan pretty easily. So the deeper of the two will be better for me when I'm tan. And right now I'm pretty lighter. I'm pretty light. <laughs> been avoiding the sun a lot so the other one will be fine for that so I'm happy to have both those options even though to me they're really kind of similar anyways and what else can I say go ahead and hit the subscribe button that way next time I make a video I'll pop up in your subscription feed and that's it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video